Welcome back, warriors, to Warrior Cats Clan Generator. We're here with Ska Clan. We have a few wounded cats here and there. These guys, which will forever have their scars to represent the ridiculous fight that they had. <laughs> Silly. But we've only got one poorly cat now, thank goodness. It's Frostfire. Ooh, she's feeling a bit sassy today. She, what was wrong with her again? Mangled leg. Yeah, that's right. I think she got a caught in a trap, if I remember correctly, which is not very good. But hey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I know. I know. You want snuggles. We can have snuggles after, but your purring will probably be loud enough the camera will pick it up. Uh, not camera. The mic will pick it up. What are you doing? Okay, she doesn't listen to me. Oh, all oh, right. Oh, okay. Hang on. Let me lift it up. Ah! I hope that isn't now in the way, but Fluffy has to sit on my lap because she wants cuddles. Anywho, back to the actual game. Let's have a look at see how everybody is doing. So Tumblestar is hoping to postpone the retirement of their clanmates. Oh, okay, I wonder why. Maybe because there's not that many cats in the clan, really. At least I don't think there is. Shimmer Sky is stressed about organizing patrols. I forgot to change my mouse before this. I really hope you can't hear the loud clicking. I feel like this one's a bit loud. Whoops, my bad. Hornet Tail wants to speak to Bogblaze about something. Olive Root is interpreting a prophecy. Ooh, I wonder what that's all about. Frostfire is feeling sassy today. Bogblaze is wondering if they made the right decision to become a mediator. Didn't really have much of a choice in the matter. <laughs> Rindleaf is rethinking their life choices. Why? Cypresscase is greatly annoyed by a clanmate's inability to accept they were in the wrong. Oh, that sounds serious. Oh dear. It's a floof tail. <laughs> you shush. I don't know if you can hear that. If you can, I'm so sorry. Her purring. But I've got my dressing gown on because it's getting a bit colder now in the UK. Um, and you know, as soon as that's on, she's all over it. Little Lily is feeling gloomy. And like this one here. And they look the most similar. They're black and white cats. So she looks similar to Little Lily. But you're feeling the complete opposite, which is nice. She's just looking up at me. Okay. Lucy Pig is hoping Shimsky won't assign them to the next patrol. Okay, we'll have to remember that and not assign her to the next one. Maybe she can gather some herbs with the medicine cats. Spoffit is grateful for Hornet Tail for their treatment. And Tree Patch had a nightmare involving the rushing river nearby. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that sounds really scary, actually. All right. That's well, that's how everybody's feeling. Oh look, little Lily and Lucy Peek are comforting each other because they're not having the best of days. Oh, bless them. Let's go on our patch. What? Oh, that's right. I forgot to do the events in the last episode. <gasps> yeah, that's right. Okay, I guess we're doing events this time. We're doing free events. All right. Skip one moon. Medicine den nests have been refreshed with new moss from the herb stores. Okay, good. That's all right then. That's okay. Whew. Shimmer Sky sharing tongues with Hornet Tail. Tumblestar thinks Rindleaf is very helpful. Tumblestar overheard a joke from Shimmer Sky they didn't get. Tree Patch lifts their chin up while passing by Hornet Tail. Cypress Grays knows that the advice Hornet Tail gave them will be helpful. Rindleaf swaps favorite prey with Frostfire. Sporfoot is wowed by how bravely Rindleaf fought the other day. Bogblaze thinks Frostfire was nice to them today. Bogblaze surprises Lucy Peak with something nice. Olive Root ignores Tree Patch. It's rude. Olive Root challenged uh, Lucy Peak to spar with them. Okay, Olive Root is feeling very defensive apparently. Little Lily saw Cypress Gaze the other day but didn't get a chance to meow hello. Frostfire is surprised at his spore for expressing an ideal they can agree with. Frostfire, Cypress Gaze, and Tumble Star took a sun bath and had a little small talk. Hornet Tail swaps over at Prey with Lucy Peak and Lucy Peak ignores Frostfire. Okay, there's a lot of ignoring going on. I don't like this. That's weird. Weird. So, do I technically need to see how everybody is doing again? Yes. Okay, we'll do this again then. Tumblestar is eavesdropping on Bog Blaze. Shimmer Sky is eavesdropping on Tree Patch. Hornet Tail is checking up on the Warriors. Olive Root is eating some fresh kill. Frostfire is daydreaming. Bog Blaze sees all sides of the argument. Rindleaf wants to get to know Lucy Peak better. Cypress Gaze wants to get to know Shimmer Sky better. Literally wants to speak to Rindleaf about something. They speak almost choked on their prey. Sporefoot feels a deep respect for the clan's elders. That's nice. And Tree Patch thinks that they are the smartest cat in the clan. Oh dear god. Tree Patch, this is why your relationship with some of the other cats is a bit, a bit unsteady. And I also want to check, of course, little Chica Whisker. 
is exploring StarClan's hunting grounds. Oh, at least he's getting used to the fact that he's now with StarClan. And then what about Togepi? Is giving a group of ghost kittens a badger ride. <gasps> that is so cute. Oh my gosh. I love Togepi so much. Oh, Togepi. How did you actually... How did you actually pass? It doesn't say, does it? I can't remember how this cat passed. Family tree? Ah, uh, no, I don't know. I'm not sure, but that is freaking adorable. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go on some patrols. So Lucy Peak didn't want to go on the patrol, but we already did it. Oh, well, I'm going to stick to it anyway. So Lucy Peak can go with the medicine cats and go out on a herb gathering patrol. Let's go. Hornet Tail has finally put enough time aside to go search for time with a gathering patrol. Hornet Tail has no time and no time. They're forced to give up on the search for today. Ah, that sucks. No time and no time, huh? Oh, tough times. So now that he's feeling better, I'm sure he'll want to go on a border patrol for sure. So him, Shimmer Sky, and... Wait, this is the wrong cat. They look familiar, all right? Just, just, this is my excuse and I'm sticking to it. I'm going to take you as well, so these three can go on a border patrol. While walking along the border, your patrol notices a Wolverine clan patrol renewing their scent marks up ahead. Let's go for it. The patrols eventually cross paths and an awkward tension fills the air. No one is quite sure what to say to break the silence and eventually everyone involved slowly shuffles away to continue their respective patrols. Relations with Wolverine clan have worsened. Oh dear, that's not very good. Ooh. I still have no idea how you get alliances. Like, I don't know. Okay, is that a thing you can do? I have no idea. That's not good. Okay, let's go out on a hunting patrol. Your patrol comes across a squirrel. It's ingress in nibbling at a morsel beneath a tree. Tree patch rapidly pads towards the squirrel, their tail tip twitching in excitement. The squirrel is alerted to their presence with a bird's alarm call, but tree patch, uh, bleh, but tree patch launches himself forward and cuts off its escape with a bite to the back of the head. Oh, that's... I don't think I appreciate the gory details, to be honest. Well, okay, that is today's patrols. Well, the first time, oh, look at everybody in the warrior's den. My goodness, all the elders are in here. Okay, so, Olive Root, what was your relationships again? I'm pretty sure, yeah, Little Lily. <sighs> oh my gosh, I did not realize Olive Root hated tree patch what and he just dislikes him he doesn't hate him <gasps> that's awful oh dear gosh well as cypress gaze is next to little lily i'm gonna get him to mediate little lily and olive roots mediate Ooh, look the romance is getting up there olive root really wanted a mate so do you know what i i feel like we should grant him that wish he's feeling really low he really wants a mate. He thinks about kits frequently. So I think, you know what? Olive Root. Olive Root should have a mate. And I want to do that. So let's actually, let's get, click on Olive Root and have him do it. Choose mate. Little Lily. It's official. It's official. There we go. Now they are mates. They're, uh, she's a little bit older than him, but, you know, is what it is. It's not too bad. There we go. Now... Now they're mates. Cool. Now we have two pairs of mates in the clan, which is awesome because we really need some kits in the clan. And then I also want to mediate... Where are you? There you are. That's the wrong cat though. Brindle Leaf, how about you? Actually, no, I feel like Bog Blaze. Bog Blaze, why don't you mediate Frostfire and Tree Patch? Mediate. Yes. Oh, key cat's on the move. Awesome. Okay. So hopefully these guys will also become mates eventually. I don't want to do that just yet though. And then Rindle Leaf, who could you mediate also? Actually, I want to... What is your relation with the leader? You don't like him. Do you know what? I don't know if it's sabotage. Because Olive Root does not like Tom's side. Never has. Probably never will. So I kind of want to sabotage their relationship just because I'm... Well, I have no excuse really, to be honest. What am I doing? I'm clicking all the wrong buttons. So, Olive Root, will we be able to though? I have no idea. Sabotage. Oh. Okay, so platonic like decrease, respect decrease, comfort decrease, trust decrease, jealousy increased, dislike increased. Mmm. 
Temple Star's feelings and Olive Root's feelings. So Olive Root just kind of went up a bit and Temple Star gained some more, maybe? I'm not sure. I should have checked his feelings as well, but I know that Olive Root has always never liked Temple Star, so, you know. All right, let's get the... Look at these guys up here. The elders just chilling out, bathing in the sun. That is adorable. Oh my gosh. Skipper Moon? Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, Hornetail announced that they are expecting kids. <gasps> oh my gosh. They decide to move into the nursery in preparation for their soon-to-come kids. That's so exciting. Ah, Hornetail and the clan leader, Tumble Star, are going to have kids. That's fantastic. We was just saying that we needed some kids in the clan as well. Cyberscase believes they are part of a new prophecy. Oh... What does that mean? Seriously, what does that mean? Well, what do we do with that? I have no idea. Little Lady was caught sharing prey with a rogue who was chased off by a patrol. Ooh, I wonder what that's about. I wonder if we can meet this rogue. That'd be cool. Shimmer Sky Muse, congratulations to Little Lily for a job well done. Tumble Star finds a bit of fluff that smells like Shimmer Sky and adds it to their nest. Tumble Star and Lucy Peak heckled another clan at the gathering together. I want to go to the gathering. It's weird that it's Tumble Star and Lucy Peak considering they had a fight. You know, they are some of the cats that fell out and attacked each other. Tree Patch goes to tell a secret to Lucy Peak only for Lucy Peak to tell someone else's secret to them. Cypress Gaze thinks Shimmer Sky isn't very considerate of others. Cypress Gaze sees that Shimmer Sky's piece of prey looks tastier than asks if they would like to swap. They agree happily, saying that they like that one better anyway. Rindle Leaf sharing tongues with Shimmer Sky. Rindle Leaf music congratulations to Frostfire for a job well done. Sporefoot surprises Tumblestar with something nice. Aw, cute. Bogblaze thinks Rindleleaf is very helpful. Bogblaze saw Olive Root being considerate. Olive Root is sharing tongues with Shimsky. Olive Root bristles after being scolded by Frostfire. Little Lily is really surprised that Lucy Peak. That Lucy Peak's life isn't as easy as they thought it was. Okay. Little Lily is having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with Lucy Peak, probably about her new relationship with Olive Root, which is adorable. And also the new kits which are coming. Frostfire is having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with Sporefoot. I'm guessing this is because of the kids. Hornettail thinks Bogblaze is being annoying. Oh, that's not nice. Hornettail bristles after being scolded by Lucy Peak. And Lucy Peak called Hornettail the wrong name. How do you do that? Well, all right then. Let's have a look at how everybody is doing now. Uh, let's also check on you quickly. You've been hurt for two moons. Oy, 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 oy. Hopefully it doesn't become infected. Tumblestar wonders how Cypress Gaze is doing. Shimmer Sky wonders how Lucy Peak is doing. Hornetail can't wait until Star Clan sends an omen. Okay. Oh, right, of course. She's curled up because she's expecting kids. I was I was a bit like, um, what's going on? Oh, that's two medicine cats that are currently down. Didn't think about that. Huh. Olive Root, it's all on you now, buddy. Olive Root is drying some herbs. Frostfire wonders how Sporefoot is doing. Bogblaze is mediating a couple's relationship. Rindleleaf is dismayed at how quickly their clanmates get into arguments. Yeah. Cypress Case wonders how Shimmer Sky is doing. Literally is staring off into space. Lucy Pig has recently given a wonderful speech to fellow clanmates, boosting morale. Spoffit is grateful to Hornetail for their treatment. And Tree Patch is helping to escort the medicine cat to gather herbs. Oh, cool. We'll actually send him out on a patrol with the medicine cats then. And what's Chica Whisker doing? Oh, Tiki Whisker is proud of Rindleleaf. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And Togepi watches the house folks' new cat with interest. <gasps> it's been six moons, so six months since Togepi passed. So they didn't get a cat straight away. They waited half a year to get another cat. I hope you don't feel replaced, Togepi. That's that's not the case. Oh, bless them. All right, now for some patrols. So you wanted to go and help the medicine cat because it is now only one medicine cow which can go. Great. To Olive Root's concern, their warrior escort is unusually quiet. Yeah, I don't feel like that would be a normal thing for Tree Patch. When prompted on their troubles, Tree Patch comments that they could not help but think of what legacy they would leave behind if Star Clan called upon them. Olive Root and Tree Patch spend their time on the patrol discussing how to Star Clan the end of their life did not mean it was the true end. Even in Star Clan, cats had their role to play. Tree Patch's legacy would shine brighter than any star. Comforted by these words, Tree Patch thanks Olive Root and helps bring back the herbs. Oh, that's sweet. That's so sweet. Right, Tumble Star and Shimmer Sky and Sporefoot can go on a border patrol. As the patrol is checking the border lines, they hear the tr tres. I can't. I what, what does that word say? Of poor steps through their territory. Let's proceed. The patrol approaches wearily and becomes upon a kitty pet that's sniffing around. The kitty pet notices their arrival and brightly says that they've heard about the clan and wish to join. 
The patrol agrees to take them back to camp. <gasps> we have a new cat! Mottled Twist has joined the clan. Mottled Twist? This game has some very interesting names. Ooh, that's so exciting! But we're not gonna go see- Oh, okay, I was about to say we're not gonna go see the cat yet, but they're right here! Mottled Twist, look at you! All right, well, I guess Mottled Twist is coming out on a, a hunting patrol with us. Wow, straight off the bat. A rabbit bursts out from cover, startled by the patrol. Your patrol jumps after it, but the rabbit has too great of a head start. Ah. Right, back to clan. Let's check out this cat. Mottled Twist is looking around the camp with Wanda. She is a female adult with dark eye, uh, bleh, dark blue eyes. She has a Sokoki. Did I say that right? Sokoki pelt. Short fur, yellow bow collar. She's 86 moons, she's a warrior, she's wise, a great mediator, and experience is prepared. And she's for me a kitty pet. Woo, look at you, Mottle Twist. That's a really weird name. If you have any name suggestions, then do let me know if you would like this cat to be named anything else. Say, for example, one of your cats. I'm more than happy in our Warrior Cat series to name cats after your guys' pet cats as well. So if you want that, to happen if any of these cats look similar to yours then just leave a comment and re re requesting for them to be named after your cats and i'm more than happy to do that maybe i should add trixie in as well my cat and maybe pebbles one of my previous cats maybe i should add them in if any cats uh tend to come in that look like them should definitely in the uh, sims free warrior cats though i think well that's awesome cool we now have we now have this cat that's so cool Right, time for the events. Uh, 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 skip a moon. Oh gosh, that's a lot of stuff. I don't, don't think I like that. Sky Clan does not have enough. Have, 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 <laughs> Sky Clan does not have enough healthy medicine cats. Cats will be sick slash hurt for longer and have a higher chance of dying. Sporfoot wasn't looking where they were going and tripped over a small trunk, spraining their paw. Sporfoot, please, why, why? Olifruit has gotten heat exhaustion. <gasps> oh no. Frostfire's mangled leg has healed up. Oh, thank goodness. Does that mean we have at least one medicine cat now? Oh gosh. This isn't looking good. Hornet's tail. Hornet tail thinks they'll have a small litter. All right. Okay. Shimsky thinks the prey little Lily is biting into on the other side of camp looks delicious. Lucy Peak thinks seems to be oblivious to Tumblestar glaring at them from across the camp. They just... That's not good, is it? He really doesn't like her. Tumblestar had a difficult conversation with Shimsky and they have now have a deep understanding of each other. I'm so like now taken aback by that, the whole medicine cat thing, I can't read or speak properly. Tree Patch complains about something Tumblestar did. Cypress Gaze had Little Lily bump into them and they didn't even apologize. Little Lily, come on, where's your manners? Rindleleaf is sharing prey with Sporefoot. Rindleleaf is having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with Mottled Twist. Sporfoot is having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with Lucy Peak. Bogblaze is wowed by how bravely Tom Star fought the other day. Olive Root comes up with a plan to sneak out of camp with Shimmer Sky. Ooh. Medicine Cat and the Deputy. <gasps> what do you guys think that's all about? I feel like it's got something to do with Tumble Star. Well, let's check Shimmer Sky's relationship with Tumble Star afterwards, actually. Because we already know that Olive Root does not like him. So I'm curious as to see how Luce. Uh, speak how shimmer sky feels about him maybe they're planning to overthrow him or something i don't know lucy that no st what little lily saw rindle leaf being considerate frostfire finds a bit of fluff that smells like mottle twist and adds it to the nest that's cute when tell is having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with lucy peak lucy peak finds a bit of fluff that smells like tumble star and adds it to their nest strange considering you guys don't like each other but okay Mottle Twist stole Tree Patch's catch right out from under their claws. <gasps> oh, good God. Okay, well. Ah, two of our medicine cats are down. At least we have, at least she got up when they went down, I guess. But let's look at relations. Let's have a little look-see. So, she likes Shimmer Sky. She likes Tumble Star. Doesn't like Tree Patch. Everybody doesn't like Tree Patch, just straight off the bat. Oh, wait, she did see this spray. Yeah, that's right. She likes Rindle Leaf. She likes Sporfoot, um, and she doesn't know anybody else. Maybe that's something we can do. We can mediate a uh, positive or negative with the cats that the newer cats, clan cats, don't... With the I'm butchering the sentence. We can mediate the newer cats with cats that they don't know. So, like, for example, Cypress Gaze. We can mediate with Mottle Twist 
um, either sabotage or mediate. And then I can maybe roll the dice for that, I don't know. So then at least they know everybody and have some sort of relationship with everybody because it doesn't make sense that, you know, they obviously don't. So yeah, we could do that. That that makes sense to me. Shimmer Sky, we wanted to check your relations. Okay, so she, I said she this time. She dislikes him and is jealous more than she trusts and feels comfortable and everything with him. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I, it could very well be about Tumblestar then that they're discussing. Who knows? Tumblestar absolutely loves Sporefoot. Look at this. And Little Lily, and Leaf, and Cypress Gaze, his former deputy, does like Shimmer Sky though. You know, for him being, you know, a bad guy and all, he actually likes pretty much everybody in his clan, which is very nice actually. Didn't really know Chica Whisker sadly. Hmm. Right, let's have a look at how Hornet Tail is doing she is a pregnant right so she is pregnant she has been pregnant for one moon so i wonder how long that will take to get to to have her kits and now we have sporefoot who has sprained his ankle or foot whichever one it was oh my gosh these cats yeah oh look she's literally checking on her that is so freaking cute i so totally need to add this into the thumbnail look at everybody here everybody's greeting mottled twist in the warrior's den that's adorable and look the leader and the deputy are both up on the high rock in the leader's den that is awesome and of course cypress gaze is uh bathing in the sun again i guess it looks like olive root is getting a drink from this little river here not river but stream and then it looks like bog blaze is just kind of looking out for everybody in the clan watching over everybody but all right guys if you enjoyed this episode please do leave a like and subscribe and again if any of these cats well, any future cats or maybe this new cat, if they resemble your cat or in any of our other Worry Cat series, if you like your cats to be in the series, then let me know and I can add them in, especially the Century Worry Cats series. I can try my best to make a look at them. I don't know how well I would do of that, actually. That would that would actually be very difficult, thinking about it. Hmm. Well, may maybe any of the pre-made rogues, if you just say, you know, they're black and white cat or they're a ginger tabby or something like that, I'll generate a ginger tabby and then I will name it your cat because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them looking like your guys cats so I don't know what they look like and I don't want to upset anybody so <laughs> if you know anybody else who would enjoy this series please do share the video and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys